Hello there. As you can see, we're in front of the little telly, which on my channel means we're uh, doing a little pickup video. Well, actually, it's not such a little pickup video, this. In fact, it's it's two boxes. Two boxes combined. <laughs> yeah, um, I have two boxes to show you. Um, I should know what's in these boxes. I know, well, I know it's Spectrum tapes, uh, but that's about all I can remember because... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I've got. So we have a box. Here, look. A huge box from Andre Russell. And a box from Dan Lane. Um, these I purchased from Dan. Those over there were a gift from Andre, who's a very good chap. Um, he does have a YouTube channel, does Andre. So I'm going to give him a plug. It's got a brilliant name. It's Zombie Bob's Emporium of Old Tat. It's an amazing name. I just love it. Yeah. Never liked my channel name. In fact, I've, con uh, I've considered changing it repeatedly, but I can't think of anything else. Don't have much of imagination. Uh, and Andre's just popped up with this, this brilliant name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I really do need to think of something. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, so I've got two boxes here. One, one, two. Uh, and I thought we'd do something different. Uh, I have been accused in the past of uh, not really putting much effort into my channel. You tend to just see whatever my camera's pointing at. <sighs> yeah, and often it's quite wonky, as uh, Mark Payne often tells me. Yeah, but but today, after much work on the Tinterweb, we've got something different. You see, uh, I'm sure lots of you have watched the Bandersnatch thing on uh, Netflix, and uh, you could use the remote to choose your own path. Well, I've embedded something similar in my channel. Now, if you've watched the last seven videos to the end uh, on my channel, one of them had a code word. If you now say that code word into your phone and press on which box you want to see, then using the magic of the Tinterweb, that is the box we will open first. Obviously, if you don't watch my videos all the way to the end, then you won't know the code. So it won't work. So you'll have to watch whichever one uh, the, the, uh, the YouTube thingamajibby uh, picks at random. So I'm going to give you five seconds now to say the passcode, and then we're going to go to whichever box you've picked. You chose Andre Russell boxes first. Andre Russell's box first, even. <laughs> Get me words out today. Yeah, you choose Andre. So, yeah, thank you for watching all my videos and uh, using the uh, the Bandersnatch type thingy. So, we're going to open this now and see what's inside. Um, if you continue watching the video, it will eventually link to the uh, second unboxing, which obviously some other people may have picked first, in which case they'll hear this bit second. <laughs> my stupidity amazes myself sometimes right we're in right let's see we've got bubble wrap yes never have too much bubble wrap more bubble wrap <laughs> lots more bubble wrap oh and then we have tapes right let's see what's inside let's see so these are all from Andre, as I said, you chose to look at these first by clicking on the box and saying the passcode. So let's see what we've got. We have got um, quite a few games I've never heard of. Start with Heli Chopper. There we go, look. I'm having to reach because my, uh, my new phone, uh, the, the camera seems to be a lot wider. So I have to have the camera a lot further back. Heli chopper. I'm having a look at that. I've just chucked it on the thing. Let's have a look. Heli chopper. There's a budget range, and it looks to have an helicopter in it. I think. I think I watched Christian Van Tilburg play this on his channel, Real Generic Demon. Yeah, I think I watched him play this. Uh, I think I remember him saying something about Firebird. Used to be. Telecom. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why that one rings a bell. What have we got next? 
a Yaw Sinclair smash tape, a Rebel Star 2, and a playable demo of Back to the Future Part 2, which I seem to remember playing. No screenshots because it's uh, a thingy tape. So this 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 piece of paper, a long, long time ago, somebody like me will have cut this out of the Yaw Sinclair magazine and uh, put it in this box. Yeah. It's cool, that. I like that. I like the fact that this has been handled. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, Andre was on about that on his last video when he was talking about Queen singles, where they've come from and where, they, where they've been and why they've been sold. And I think, I think the Yoss and Claire tapes are similar in the fact that people have handled them. They've gone and put the time and the effort to cut the, uh, the magazine up to put the cover in a box. And then they've had to find a box from somewhere. I used to nick mine off my dad. I used to, I used to take his cassette albums to, to bits. <laughs> nick his boxes. And then he'd find out and go mental. Yeah. Uh, a Mastertronic book budget range now. Excel. No screenshots. There very rarely was on the Mastertronics. You had to go inside. But you couldn't see inside because very often they were sealed. Evil. And that looks like a... A spacey thing. A spacey thing. Hmm. I don't remember that. Excel. Sounds like a spreadsheet, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, Excel. I don't know what this is. Cy Games. Christopher James Software Limited. Any screenshots? Oh, it's a search of test games and demonstrations which introduce you to the world of telepathy, telepathy precognition and memory association. Oh, this sounds fun. I might have to cover this. I might have to cover this and see if I can magically um, get in touch with somebody on the other side. <laughs> well, this is cool. Look, when you open it up, it's got this inside. Look. All this specky stuff you can order. Yeah. Tapes and bags and all sorts of things. Joystick. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we can see if I'm... Uh, find out if I'm telepathic. That's brilliant. <laughs> We're definitely going to give that a go. What we got next? taped up is this for some reason just a second oh there we go i remember this i remember this it's no mastertronic budget universal hero but i can't remember anything about it i just remember the name again i'm gonna to have to open it up to see the screenshots there we go look screenshots yeah i remember the name but i don't remember the game why do I remember it? I must have had it. I must have had it, but due to my memory being totally rubbish, I've forgotten it. Yeah, I've forgotten the game, but remembered the name. I wonder why the name stuck, but the name the game didn't. What's it say here? Gasp! Only seven seconds left to save the planet. Well, it's buggered then, because I can have hours and still fail. <laughs> yeah. Universal hero. What's next? Hollywood poker. <laughs> Terrible. I can't play cards. I can't play cards. Um, I remember, uh, what was it now? What was the wimp? What was she called? The page three model. Sam Fox. Sam Fox strip fo poker. I spent ages trying to figure that out. I couldn't play that either. Yeah. In fact, I think Baz sent me that a while back. A while back. It might have been over a year ago. My memory's terrible. Yeah. So real poker action. Hollywood Poker is a stimulated, stimulating strip poker game that puts you up against a beautiful female. <laughs> God, this is going to be dreadful. I might have to put that one on as well because, uh, yeah, yeah. Although, if we're both stripping, it'll be me that ends up naked. But don't worry, I'll make sure I stay on this side of the camera. <laughs> I'll put you through that. Uh, the next one is Zoom by 
Imagine, the name of the game. I think Imagine became Ocean. There's no screenshots. Hang on. I'll open it up. Open it up. There's no screenshots inside either. I definitely had Zoom. As I remember rightly, correct me if I'm wrong, because I usually am. The reason it was double Z is so that it was at the end of the game's listings. So it stuck out. I think that's why they called it Zoom. Yeah, because it's double Z. And apparently it's for any 48K spectrum. Zoom. I bought this. I bought this in the big box. This is the re-release budget by Kix Roadrunner. Um, they're not the Spectrum graphics. If it'll focus. There we go. Yeah, they're not the Spectrum graphics. The Spectrum, as I remember, was very, very monochrome. Uh, and um, was really, really hard to play. <laughs> uh, I think it was an arcade game originally. Um, I think. But I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Rolled on. I think, I think, I'm not sure if I've just said, but I, I had the big box version. I think I paid $7.99 for it. And this is Hot Resputin. Uh, this is a demo, there. Eh? Oh, yeah. Apparently, it has to be the game of the year. But that's from Yor Sinclair. Yor Sinclair said every game was the game of the year. Renegade 3 was the game of the year, as far as Yor Sinclair was concerned. So, yeah, this is just a demo. Um, I don't remember that one. Hot Resputin. Firebird. <sighs> Another one I'll have to check out. <laughs> What's next? Oh, I love this film. I remember going to see this at the pictures in uh, Doncaster. Yeah, it'll have been in Doncaster then. Uh, and I just loved it. Never played the game though. Never played the game. And uh, when Andre said he had this, I was I was curious as to what sort of game they'd made of such an epic film. Uh, it looks like an adventure game. There's no screenshots as such, but yeah. There's lots of, uh, yeah, look, there's verbs and words and, oh, it'll be, I'll be utterly useless at this. I just end up getting, getting frustrated and trying to kill everybody with a blunt object. <laughs> yeah. But we'll have to try it. I do like to try games I've not played. It's very easy on the older consoles and computers to just play what you remembered. But it is, it is good for fun to spread your wings and try something um, that you've never played like this Line of Fire by Sega I presume this was an arcade game oh, they're, they're not Spectrum shots everything but we've got Omega Atari ST uh, I can't see Commodore and something else uh, yeah none of them are, are specky shots it'll be uh, monochrome <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, very good condition box, and uh, look, he's still got the instructions in. A lot of these did not see, did not last. It's nice to see them still in good nick. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We'll have to give that a shot. It looks looks a bit similar to Commando. Yeah, Commando. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember it at all. Apparently, apparently he's saying, look, look, there's a helicopter. I don't know what he wants me to do with that information. I don't know. I, don't know. I bet that's not going to stand up, is it? Oh, it will, it will, it will, yeah. Last couple now. Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, uh, I think this uh, followed the film. Uh, it, was like a, it was like a game that was scenes from the film... You had the bit where you can see there in the screenshot there that again isn't the Spectrum version. You go down and you find this evil slime stuff just like in the film. And then you've got the bit with the Statue of Liberty there if you can see. Uh, yeah, wasn't my favourite film. Not half as good as the first one. And I don't think the game was... Graphically it was quite good. I, I, I think I had a demo. I think you could play that first level. Oh, look, it's all, it's all in there, look. Which is nice. Again, this is in very nice condition for something that's very old. 
Yeah, so that's Ghostbusters 2, uh, the game of the film. We'll just bob that there. And then finally, we've got 100% Dynamite, which has four explosive hits. Uh, Weckler Man's is a classic car game. I covered that ages ago. Uh, Ninja 2. I, I think I had that. I think it's like a isometric uh, ninja type game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. it would say that one. It would be. It's Last Ninja 2, actually. Sorry, Last Ninja 2. And then we've got Afterburner, which everyone's played, and Double Dragon, which a lot of people don't like. But I, personally, think it's a great game. Yeah, it's definitely something to cover in the future. I might do Double Dragon on the Specky Amiga and maybe Arcade. Run all three off together. And the Mega Drive, if I've got it. Yeah, we'll have to have a look. Uh, so there's Double Dragon. Everybody knows that scene. Baddies have just run off with your girlfriend and you've come out of your garage and you're just going to kick ass. And then there's WEC Le Mans, which is great fun, great arcade racer. Last Ninja 2, which, as I said, was is a isometric type. Uh, I, I don't really know what you've got to do, though. I can't remember. And then Afterburner, which everyone's played. Shooty, shooty. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how many tapes it's on. It's on... Oh, that's nice. It's not very often you see this. It's actually on four tapes. Normally, they shove them all together, and you have to hunt up and down to find the start of the game you want to play. But uh, in this one, by Ocean, you actually just put in the tape you want, which is really good. Yeah, I like that. So that's my box from Andre. So uh, thank you very much for these, Andre. As I said, there'll be a link in the description thingy to his YouTube channel. Uh, do check him out. Right, there's going to be a little gap now. And then, for those who wanted to see Dan's stuff first, they'll be seeing their stuff. And for you who have just watched me look at Andre's stuff, if you hang around, you'll see what Dan sent me. If I do manage to get this open and not stab myself. I'm in. Box is beyond me. Right, we're in. So what we got? We've got bubble wrap. Always got bubble wrap. We'll get rid of the bubble wrap. No bubble wrap. And that's it. Right. Now these tapes I bought from Dan are a bit different from what I normally collect. What I've done is, the odd one that's caught my eye that I had back in the day that I've, I've not collected yet, I've bought. And I've also bought a lot of random tapes that I've never heard of because um, there's a friend of mine that does something similar, Graham Mason. Uh, he, he buys games that he's never heard of, uh, really obscure stuff. And I, I find that although there's a lot of dross, some of them are really good. And it's also, like I said earlier in the video, it's nice to play things you've never heard of. So let's look through. Let's see what we've got. First of all, we've got a Far Quattro tape. I've got a few of these. So I got this, I'll be honest, just because it's one I haven't. I don't know how many they are. I'm not a collect. I don't collect Spectrum tapes trying to get full collections. I'm not interested in having a full Ocean or a full this or a full that. But I do like these. So when I see them, I pick them up. Yeah. So we've got Frankenstein Jr., Wizard Willy, Little Puff, and Ollie and Lisa 3. I already have Ollie and Lisa 3, and I've got Ollie and Lisa 1. But for some reason, you never see Ollie and Lisa 2. I, uh, I've i never come across it. Uh, I think uh, Villard Such, Rod Bell, covered the Ollie and Lisas. Um, I think he liked the first one and disliked the rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what they are, the rest of them. Yeah, they've all got good scores, as you can see there. Smash Magazine, 90, 93. Yeah, good little tape. Although, as I said in the last, the Dynamite box that I got from Andre, with this, um, you'd have to fast forward and rewind to find the middle. Uh, with this Spectrum 48Ks, you used, you used to have a timer. So you could write down the times. But when we got to the plus twos, for some reason, they stopped putting the timers on. 
and you just have to guess. You have to listen to the note <laughs> and work out where the gap was. So we'll put that there. And the next game I picked up is a Hit Squad title, The Real Ghostbusters, um, which was a cartoon, as I remember. It looks, looks a bit like a bit like Garlet. Garlety? Yeah, it looks a bit Garlety. I've never played this at all. Apparently, it's a brilliant playable game. Graphically, it couldn't be any better. Yeah. I got this because I keep tying with going for a full Hit Squad set. Um, and then I keep thinking, no, that's madness. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll pick one up like this that's a couple of quid and think, yeah, yeah, I can do this. And then I look at the, uh, like the Dark Mans and stuff like that that are like £200, uh, if you can find one. And I think, no, no, don't. But, yeah, I, I have issues. Which is why I also bought this one, uh, Cobra. Like Cobra, yeah, it's a good arcade type game uh, based on the Stallone film. Uh, graphics, graphics are on there, look. Uh, yeah, it's quite hard, but it does look nice and it's quite quick. Yeah, probably too quick actually because uh, you just tend to die a lot. What have we got next? Next we've got... Uh, a Micromania game, Project Future. I haven't got a clue. I just liked the artwork. Um, a lot of time with Spectrum tapes. There's no, there's no screenshots. With Spectrum tapes, I just I get drawn to the artwork, and so I buy it. Uh, what's it say? Oh, it looks like a, looks like a maze type game. Wondering about. Oh, look, he's got a jetpack thing at the top there. Looks a bit like a C Sinclair C5 with no wheels. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently there's 256 screens of the most amazing high resolution graphics yet seen on the spectrum. There's nothing like blowing your own trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I do like a lot of the spectrum artwork. Sometimes I do buy tapes just because I like the picture. Tornado low level. I recently watched Baz Harding play this, so when I saw this come up for sale, I had to have it, because uh, it's by, by Vortex Software, look, in Manchester. So if there's any screenshots inside. Uh, yeah, this is a great game. Uh, I prefer, There's no screenshots, which is a shame, because I'd like to have sh shown you. I personally preferred uh, the helicopter one. What was that called? Is it Vortex? Can't remember. Anyway, there was a similar one. No, it's not Vortex. Vortex made this. What was the helicopter one called? I can't remember. Tell me in the description thing. Yeah, there was a helicopter one like this, but not this. And I preferred that. I found it more controllable. This, you have issue. The issue is you, you, you tend to you, you tend to fly past your target all the time. You're just looping round, and then you crash into something and get get mad. Whereas the helicopter one was a bit more playable. But that's still a very good game. It looks stunning, to be honest. <laughs> I hate this game. Airwolf, I had to get this. I don't own it, and... Uh, uh, I love that little hologram thing there, look. Yeah. For some... <laughs> there's no screenshots. Uh, to be honest, if there was a screenshot of the first screen, you've probably seen as much as I have when I play it, because I am rubbish at it. And <laughs> it's funny, because I covered this for someone ages back when my channel first started and it's still my most viewed video and I can't work out why because all I do is I crash and crash and crash <laughs> yeah my shit to be honest a lot of my uh, gameplay videos involve me crashing or dying or failing the next game I picked up off Dan is a classic 3D Death Chase now, I don't agree with most people. This this one, this was supposed to be the best Spectrum game ever. I don't agree with that. I think it's a brilliant game. I don't think it's the best Spectrum game. I think there's better. Um, but it's definitely one of the very best, especially one of the very best early games. I couldn't believe I didn't own it. Um, for those who haven't played it, you basically, what you see on the screen is actually what you do in the game. You, th you ride the helicopter uh, motorbike and you shoot other motorbikes while going through the trees and watching out for the helicopter and trying to shoot the helicopter. And that's it. That is the game. But it's great fun. I used to play this and pretend... Let's see if there's any screenshots inside. Oh, there's something inside. Yeah, I used to pretend 
I was Judge Dredd because I was a big Dredd fan back in the day and I was chasing down evil perps. What's this say? Let's have a look. Ah, look. It's a pokey thingy. Someone's put this in years ago. Look. Free Def Chase. Free D Def Chase. Infinite Lives. So if you type that in and then play the game, you won't die. That's cool. I wonder how long that's been in there. I love finding stuff in boxes. Yeah. Well, bits to do with the games, not scary things. <laughs> There's more. What's this? This is another one that I just liked. I just liked the artwork. I don't know what that is. It looks like a flying dozer. Yeah. So part taxi, part loading shovel. <laughs> There's no screenshots. There's nothing to see here. I'll open it up. Uh, nothing. Nothing in here apart from an advertisement for a fancy spectrum. Give the capability, you the capabilities to explore new frontiers of experience with your ZX Spectrum. Oh look, that looks ace. Well, question here for anybody watching is did you ever have one of those? Because I want one. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some sort of plug-in thing with a speaker. Look at that. Further details. £29.95 plus 80p postage and packaging. Oh, It's a sound in synthesizer and joystick port. I wonder. I wonder if I send it off now. I wonder if they'll send me one. <laughs> I want it. That's ace. Yeah. So did you ever have one of those back in the day? Were they any good? So that's Gitsoids. Next we have a Yor Sinclair cover tape. Oh, what's on there? Uh, I can't see. Uh, AD Astra, whatever that is, that's a complete game. Uh, a demo of Cromwell at War and Hijack a complete game. Yeah. Yeah. These, like I said earlier, these were just in the Yar Sinclair magazine. The tape would be stuck to the front and you'd cut this out of the box, uh, out of the magazine. So a long time ago, somebody did that. And this has lasted. The magazine probably ended up like all mine did in the bin, unfortunately. And then here we have. Uh, another one. Ah, look, it's there. Look, it's Cyclone. So there's TLL. There's a screenshot of, T, uh, of uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> TLL. Yeah, there's a screenshot of the the playing game I showed you earlier. That there was no screenshots of the box, and that's the one I was telling you about that Baz actually covered also recently. Cyclone. I loved that. I, I'm gonna have to play that again. Uh, that's Hate. Uh, that was a very good isometric shooter, as I remember. And I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of puzzle game. Uh, does it say? No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Uh, seven count and full games on tape. Alien Highway, Temple of Terror, Popstar. Oh, so Cyclone's on here. But unfortunately, because there's seven, <laughs> seven games on there, I'm going to have to hunt through them, trying to get them to load. This would probably end up being a bit like uh, one of Christian's videos. Christian's doing a set of videos where he gets old C90s that are full of Spectrum games and he tries to get them to work and talks over it as he, as he plays through and finds stuff. So, yeah, you could play through this and it'd be fairly similar. It's Apart from you'd, you'd know roughly what you were playing, you just wouldn't be sure if it'd work. Because so far I've found a lot of these tapes have failed. Uh, I don't know whether the Yor Sinclair used cheap tapes or if they've just not been looked after as well. What we got next? Wheelie. Uh, this is a, f a friend of mine, uh, 20th Century Gamer. This is one of his favourites. I covered this for him ages back, and then he covered it and showed me how to play it properly, because I didn't get very far. Yeah, you're in some sort of, uh, I don't know, it's, you've got you've to drive all the way to the right and look for stuff and look out for mutant hedgehogs and all sorts that want to kill you. And uh, when you get all the way to the right, you've got to then race back left against this demon rider. And then that's it, you've won. 
Uh, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. 20th century gamer can though. So yeah, now I've got the tape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's more. I bet you're all bored now. 30 minutes of me waffling. A classic everybody knows. 1942. 1942. Screenshots are inside. Yeah, there we go. Look, actually got a spectrum shot there. Look, forget to focus. Yeah, blue and black. Um, great shooter, this, on any system. Yeah. Yeah, great shooter. Definitely worth playing if you've not played it. Battleships. I had this on... Uh, I think it's on the six-pack on the ZX Spectrum. I think, but I'm guessing... And this is, well, apart from playing it with a pen and paper, I'd say this has got to be the best version of Battleships. It's br brilliant fun. I used to play it for hours. There's a spectrum of shots. You can see the screen there. When you uh, picture your squares, it'll go to this graphic scene and uh, your, your bombs or missiles or whatever would fire off. And if you hit one of the ships, it'll go boom. Yeah, yeah, brilliant fun. I used to play this for ages with my brother, to be honest. Uh, well, put that there. And the next game is Popeye, which has got a Crash Smash. Um, this, I'm pretty sure, these actually are the screenshots for the ZX Spectrum. This is by the same guy who did uh, uh, Trapdoor. And he was renowned for doing huge sprites. And, uh, well, they are. You can see there, look at the size of Popeye. I think this plays similar to Trapdoor. I think you have to collect stuff and do stuff. Um... But I've, I've never played this and I always wanted to. Because I love Trapdoor. Trapdoor's a personal favourite. Well worth playing if you haven't. <clears throat> what we got next? Stonkers. Haven't got a clue, just like the title. <laughs> yeah, just liked it. Stonkers. 48k Spectrum. No graphics. We'll open it up. See if there's out inside. Now, apart from someone's picture, John Gibson, I presume he did the game. Yeah, programming, John Gibson. Stunk a stunk. Don't know all about this. Apparently, we're poised on the very brink of uh, battle. Yeah. Don't know if it's an arcade game or if it's like a... a strategy game or anything. I wouldn't have thought it's a strategy game, not by imagine. I would have thought it's some sort of uh, arcade type thing yeah stonkers can't tell you a lot about that one what we got next top cat <laughs> yeah by high tech software everybody knows top cat yeah used to love it when i was a kid um screenshots all on the amstrad or the commodore they're far too colorful far too colorful for the spectrum quite nice though quite cartoony uh, apparently, Benny the Ball is left a fortune in Madden Van der Gelt's will. Uh, uh, Somewhere in Beverly Hills. Oh. Yeah, that could be fun. Possibly. The next game I picked up is Oink. Now, I remember this. I saw When I saw this on uh, Dan's post, for sale post... I immediately remembered, and I'm sure he was that character was something to do with with the Yar Sinclair magazine. I'm sure it was. There's the screenshots. I can't really make out what sort of game it is from that. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I'm, I'm sure. Please tell me in the comment section. Was he to do with one of the magazines, or have I just dreamt that? Because I think he was. Now, wasn't there a comic? Wasn't there an Oink comic? And he and the, the, he was one of the characters of the comic. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think that's it. I think there was a comic called Oink. Another budget range. I have this on big box somewhere. Rogue Trooper. I, it looks quite good. This. I've still not got around to playing it. <laughs> that's with many of my games. Um, there's the graphics. Uh, Rogue Trooper is obviously one of the characters from the 2000 AD world. 
Um, you play the trooper off the front, but uh, he has on his very first mission. He's with uh, four, I think, four or three of his uh, the genetically built so uh, so soldiers. They're just built for war, you know, the the the, the medin tube sort of thing, and uh, all his mates die. But you, if you can see there on his helmet, you, everybody has a chip in the back of the neck, and if you if you take the chip out then they live on. So one of his mates is in his helmet, one's in his gun, and I think one's in his backpack, and they talk to him and basically tell him he's rubbish. So yeah, that's Rogue Trooper. Uh, we'll, we'll have to, as I keep saying, as I keep going through, we'll have to play it. Oh, I used to love this cartoon. I didn't even know there was a game. Defenders of the Earth, definitely a favourite. I had a couple of the toys when I was a kid. Uh, it's, a, it's a budget release from iTech Software, and so there's the screenshots. So it looks like a platformer. Looks like a platformer. Yeah, Ming the Merciless there. That looks brilliant. Definitely have to give that one a go. We're down to his last few now, if you're still there. We've got a classic I covered uh, the sticker on. Free Christmas gift with Houston, apparently. Yeah, I covered this uh, a while back. I covered the original Spectrum version and the Amiga, and the both awesome, really well programmed. This was supposed to be a big. Commodore 64 game, no screenshots unfortunately. Yeah, big Commodore 64 game, and uh, we never got it for ages, and then it, and then it popped up on the uh, Spectrum. And it's it's a classic shooter. You have to scroll over these huge ships and take out all the enemy, and then eventually uh, land on the huge dreadnought ship type thing and take it out. And I think there's seven of these huge dreadnoughts in total, and you need to do that to save mankind. Great shooter, great fun. And what we got next? Cosmic War Toad. I had this as a kid and always liked this cover. Don't know why. I just found it amusing. Yeah. Uh, the game is... It's 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 one of those where you, you search for stuff and run around shooting stuff. Uh, yeah, I can't remember a lot about it. But when I saw the cover, uh, I wanted it back in the collection. Because I've always liked that. always liked that bit of artwork. Yeah, that's one, that's going at the front. And then finally, last one is Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Now, um, this was a fighting fantasy book. I don't know if you remember them, the Choose Your Own Adventure books, uh, where you'd uh, you'd read a page and it'd say, "Do you want to go north? Or do you want to go east? If you want to go north, turn to page twenty. If you want to go east." to page 76 and you get to page 76 and it's say you're falling in a trap and you're dead and then you start reading again yeah brilliant books i used to have a load of them and I, whenever i'm in a charity shop looking for games i always look but i'm yet to drop on one uh well this was one of my favorite um choose your own adventure books and i didn't know it was released as a game it was released as a board game i used to have the board game but sadly that's long gone and it's very expensive now on evil bay um I presume it's an adventure game, but I'm hoping it's like the books. I'm hoping it's less adventure. -y. There's no no screenshots or commands or anything. I'm hoping it's less adventure -y and more like the book in the way that it's done. I'll definitely, definitely be giving this a try. And I'm hoping I'm not disappointed because I don't know anything about it. I just saw the artwork and I remembered it from the book. So that can go there. So those are my two boxes. Box one's from Andre, which you may have watched first. You may have watched Dan's box first. It depends on which you pressed on. <laughs> yeah, uh, huge thanks to Andre. Um, as ever, mate, these are appreciated, cherished, and will be looked after forever and ever and a day. And uh, huge thanks to Dan. Oh, I don't think I'll ever watch this because I don't think he does YouTube. Um, but I'm saying thank you anyway because I know I've said it. <laughs> Whether you do or don't. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks.
Yeah, I'm done there. All I wanted to say is what I always say uh, in the comment section. If there's anything here you like the look of and you'd like to say in the future, um, I do get round to them eventually. Although I am struggling at the minute because I've got a lot on. Um, yeah, if you want to see them in the future, put something in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching, those who did. It's been a long one, this. Catch you later. Bye-bye.